What is going on guys, it's your boy Newt Daddy back again with episode 6 of my Trash or Treasure series. Today we're going over the legendary Jackhammer SMG, manufactured by Hyperion. We're going to go over how to get the gun, what its strength and weaknesses are, and then give my overall thoughts on this weapon. But before we continue though, I just want to remind you guys that I test guns just like this and work on pretty fancy new builds over on my Twitch channel. So if you're keen on hanging out with me while I do just that, I'll be putting the link to my Twitch channel in the description down below. And with all that said and done, let's learn something, shall we? So, what is a Jackhammer and how do you get it? Well, as I said in the start of the video, the Jackhammer is a Hyperion SMG and it drops some handsome Jackie in Skywall 27, located somewhere in space, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's how you get it. And as far as a Jackhammer and what its selling point is, well, it's fairly unique in the sense that it is manufactured by Hyperion, but it mirrors another manufacturer's gimmick and that that manufacturer is TDO. What I basically mean by that is that when you chuck the jackhammer, or by reloading it, it throws a gun out just like a standard TDO would, and explodes. Multiple times, because it bounces up and down, much like a bouncing Betty grenade. So, these explosions actually do a fairly sizable amount of damage, and as you can see in the background gameplay, it's doing quite solid. Now, having a quick look at the item card itself and its stats, you can see it's nothing to stand out. Damage is fairly okay. Bear in mind it was damaged uh, about mid-June just as the Revenge of the Cartels event ended to deal increased damage which actually made this kind of a lot nicer to use. It can also roll in all elements so that's also a good selling point. And its magazine size is fairly good. Considering this is a TDO weapon in a sense, extra magazine size helps because it scales much like a TDO gun does with things like grenade damage and magazine size. So yeah, overall on first impressions the gun looks pretty good and it performs pretty good too once you spec into a right build. And speaking of build. The recommended anoint I'd recommend is the consecutive hits. Now I would suggest the 390 but because the base damage of this gun is fairly mediocre it's nothing too special so the 390 anoint doesn't always guarantee those one shot ex uh, one hit kills which means that after the enemy goes below 90% HP you're basically using a gun that has a virtually useless anoint so that's why I suggest consecutive hits and as you can see in the background gameplay it's not even a concern consecutive hits does really well. So that's the recommended anoint for this gun. And as far as the pros and cons go, there are a few, and let's break that down now. So, as far as the positives go, there are about three. The first one being its very high splash radius. Now, I say this, it's a positive, but also a negative. But, as you can see in the background gameplay, the Novas it creates are fairly large in, in size, but also deal a lot of damage, and that's what makes it so nice to use. It also rolls in multiple elements, so making sure you have things in cryo, corrosive, shock, and radiation, so on and so forth, you can basically run a full loadout of jackhammers and not feel like you're lacking damage in any sense because this gun is fairly solid. And as far as another selling point goes, so standard TDO guns only explode once. The jackhammer technically explodes three times. As I mentioned at the start of the video, it is kind of like a bouncing Betty in the sense of its explosions. So considering the fact that it bounces three times, each time dealing a bunch of damage, you can see that the damage is fairly consistent. So those are the positives out of the way. And as far as the negatives go, there's about two. And one of them we already sort of touched on in the positives, and that's its splash radius. Boosting it too much can result in solve downs, and you are always going to be going down. I played around with this build uh, and the jackhammer with 10 out of 5 in tall cross promotion, and it was an absolute mess. Um, you go down way too much, your 5 for your life bar depletes very, very quickly, and it's just not fun at all to use. So I'd suggest avoiding tall cross promotion in this build entirely. But you're not really going to feel the lack of the splash damage or radius because the gun already has a fairly high innate splash radius and damage. And as far as the second negative goes, it's kind of mediocre bossing. I took this through Malio on takedown and it did well in the mobbing sections, but once it got to things like Wotan, the damage sort of fell off. But that's not too much of an issue because there are other T-Duel guns and Hyperion guns that can be used for bossing, but I wouldn't suggest a Jackhammer as one of those. So yeah, those are the positives and the negatives out of the way. And with that, basically the video. As always, if you guys have suggestions for future weapons to cover in this series, do let me know in the comments down below. And I'm also curious as to what you guys think of weapons like this, where it's manufactured by one, one company, but it also has gimmicks of another. And I'm curious to hear what you guys think of weapons like this, and what sort of weapons you'd like to see introduced to this game that do something similar. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below. I'm always keen to hear what you guys have to say. But yeah, with that, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing too. Thanks for watching, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!